Hey YouTube, Slice Walkthroughs here with another Mac tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your monitors so you can just click and drag stuff over like that and back so you can do anything. So here's a look at my dual monitors at the moment. So here is my dual monitors as you can see on my desk. I just took a old Dell monitor I found and hooked it up to my MacBook Pro. Okay, so now I'll just show you that it's not laggy. As you can see, it's click and drag stuff over. Maximize, you can copy and paste stuff from both desktops as you'd imagine. And that is my dual monitor setup, so let's head back to my Mac. Okay, so as you can see, this is all the stuff about my Mac. So this will work on mid-2009 and above, they haven't changed it yet. I'm not sure about lower ones, but they might have the port. Okay, so now, let's get on to what you need. Okay, so here is the stuff you will need. You will need an old monitor with its power cable, a MacBook Pro, obviously, mid-2009 or above, I'm not sure about the ones below. Also, what you'll need is this cable here. It is a mini display port to VGA. Don't make the mistake that I first did of buying a mini DVI to VGA. Make sure it's a mini display port. The link to an eBay account selling the right lead will be in the description. And also, you'll need a VGA cable. You should already have a VGA cable if you have an old monitor lying around. You should have one of these. It's just got two of these on the end. Okay, so that's what you need. If you want to do it HDMI, what you need to do is buy this with HDMI. So a mini display port to HDMI. And you'll also need a HDMI cable. Okay, so now let's get started with setting it up. Okay, so here is my desk that we're going to set it up on. Okay, so first of all... I'm going to grab my old monitor with the power cable to it and plug in the power cable. I'll just turn it over to do this. Okay, so now my monitor will have power. This is an old monitor. Next, what you're going to need to do is grab your VGA or HDMI cable and in the back of the monitor, find the port for it and plug it in. Okay, so you might, you can we're in the bits if it's a VGA cable, just screw them in so it doesn't come out. And that is the monitor part done. This bit we need just left for the while. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to grab your MacBook Pro and put it where you want. And then grab the mini display port cable, this cable here, and plug the end of the VGA or the HDMI into this. So if you're doing HDMI, you'll just plug the HDMI into the mini display port to HDMI. Okay, so once that's screwed in, you're going to need to plug it in to the side of your Mac. I'll just show you where now. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is plug it into this bit here. That one there. As you can see, my finger's by it. Okay, so plug that in. Now, once you turn on the monitor, that screen will go blue and that screen will go blue. It may take its time sometimes, but as you can see here, my monitors are set up, so I can just click and drag stuff over and other things like that. Okay, 
So now, to set up your dual monitors the way you want, just go into Spotlight, type System Preferences. For this part, I will go back to my Mac. So as I was just saying, head over to Spotlight, type in System Preferences, and open it up. Okay, so once system preferences has loaded up, you will get go back to the main page, which you can see here, and click displays. And two boxes should appear on both screens, as you can see here. There are two boxes on both screens. Well, you can't see it here, but there will be two boxes on both screens. And on the other screen, on this screen, if you click Arrangement, this one here is your MacBook Pro, as you can see. And this one here is the old monitor. You can click and drag it around to tell which side your other monitor is on to tell which side you can click and drag stuff and bring your mouse back okay so I'm just going to put mine back to where it was okay and now let's head over to the other monitor to show you some settings on that so as you can see here this is my other monitor the Dell one and this is the settings that will appear you can change the refresh rate and the rotation off the monitor but sometimes when you first plug it in it's on a really bad setting like 800 by 600 and it goes all funny like this all you need to do is get your mouse and go up to 120 by 1024 that is what works best for me but you can choose from this list of what works best for you. Okay, that is my tutorial. Please comment, like and subscribe. And if you've got any problems, feel free to PM us or ask.